what happens is quite simple. I mean, first they lose control of the solids of the body. They can hardly move. Then they have, then we, you know, lose uh, control of the fluids. Most mouth and nose run. They go dry. Then the, um, we lose control of the of the body heat. We begin to get cold from the extremities towards the head, the lungs, and the heart. The short circuit, as they say, right. Then after that, we begin to lose control of the breathing. It either stops slowly or it gets. There's a period where the body fights to 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 retain consciousness and life, right. And then after that, there is a period where we breathe out, uh, a point where we breathe out three times, very far. The third time we breathe, we don't breathe in again, and then people say we are dead. And after that, then when we die, then there is a period for about 15 minutes where the white light begins to move down through the through the center of the body towards the center of the body at the level of the heart, right? Not the physical heart, but the center of the body at the level of the heart, and then. On the way down, um, people experience a sound like hung, very slow, hung sound going down through the body. And all the 33 kinds of feelings, you know, one can, Tibetans have looked at mind a lot, right? And they distinguish 33 different kinds of feelings of, of anger. They then begin to draw down from the top of the head to the heart level. And while they do that, then we, often see things that we know from our last life, people we were with, you know, and, and, and stuff like that, and memories and so on of different kinds. And we see a very clear light also. It's a nice light. It's not a shining or blinding sunlight. It's more like a beautiful moonlight. And this gradually then settles uh, the mind, the head consciousness at the heart, right? And then when that has arrived, about 15 minutes after death, then the red energy from the lower point, from the mother's egg, you know, this then begins to move up. And here 40 kinds of desire are transformed into immense bliss. I mean, totally immense bliss. And this moves up through the center of the body and one hears a sound like, ah, and, and, and that's very joyful. And then, uh, also about 15 minutes, and then about 30 minutes after death, when these two energies come together at the heart center, then, well, they meet with seven uh, basic feelings of ignorance, right, which, are, which have been there all the time. And then there's first a period where one is totally aware, or not aware of anything, just naked awareness like that. Just conscious, not fabricating thoughts, not anything. And then after that, all our Buddha powers, all our qualities, everything we have inside, and all our dreams, our abilities, everything awakens in one moment with enormous force, all bliss, all experience. And that's actually a moment of enlightenment. It's one is totally out there, and that's it. And if one has meditated, you know, and I said, and been straight, been honest in one's life, there is a chance to hold that. If one cannot hold it, right, and it is quite rare, we have it with high lamas who meditated a lot, but we very honest, very, very powerful people also we have it. But except for that, if we cannot, then, then we become unconscious. And then after 10 days after dying, we have to face it. I am dead, right? Again, we walk through a door without opening it, or again, we notice we stand in front of a mirror. There's no image. We notice that we can put our hand in boiling water and it doesn't hurt. Or we walk in sand and there are no footprints, right? And then we say, oh, I must be dead. And after not more than uh, 49 days, then we find ourselves in a new existence. But most people who had a good life, you know, they usually have quite a relaxed death when they discover that this is happening and so on. And this book should really help them.